Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Mega Quarian. Today we're starting a new level, Valberg, where it looks like um looks like cold water tanks are going to be a thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you go on to enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking on the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, I'll tab out. Don't forget to click subscribe. Uh, right then, this historic aquarium has been in decline for years and is new curator willing to shake things up. You're up to the challenge. Part of the problem is the weather is so cold in Valberg, none of the heat has worked at full capacity. Just 66% to be exact. See if you can turn the cold temperatures to your advantage with a new piece of equipment, the chiller. Chillers are used to keep tanks at cold water temperatures, allowing us to keep cold water animals like this cuckoo wrasse. That's beautiful. Look at that. It gets better. Here in Valberg, they're 50% more effective than normal. In other words, you can chill bigger tanks with less chillers. Your mission to is exploit cold water displays to get this aquarium back in the limelight. Well, I think that sounds fantastic. We are going to... Ah, see, these research don't carry over. Unless the game's a little funky... Um, yeah, look, it doesn't carry over, look, because we, we've we've already researched that once, and that one. Oh, that's like the idea of a starfish, though. Cold water as well. Ooh, yeah, let's get starfish. Okay. Um, pick your next science product. Look at this, we have to, all these again. Ugh, um, not the Belfast tank. Uh, no, the Belfast tank. Right, okay. <laughs> right. Unlock the cookie... Oh, if I click the wrong one? Oh, yeah, come on. Confirm. We'll do the cookie rass. That's what the game wants us to do. Let us, instead, have a little look around here. You're the pump... Oh, so you're doing both of these. That is that is quite an elegant solution, isn't it, that, by the way? Using that double pump. Have we got that on available? Um, let's have a look. Pumps. No, we've only got the basic pump in, but we've got that chiller. Makes it 60 degrees. Right, okay. Uh, most of the other stuff, fish-wise, we've got a, a range of stuff, a range of stuff. And we've got all of our... So these carry over at least, which is good, because I would hate um, to have to research these all the time, like, over and over again. Tank-wise, pretty good selection of tanks as well. Okay, cool. So, what's in here? A pretty naff-looking tank, that, isn't it? Let's just check all these are okay. Dislikes food competitors, can't be housed with other green eating uh, pellets, that's fine then. You, what do you eat? You eat orange pellet, that's fine, you don't eat anything. Bully, you're not a wimp, are you? No, okay, so that's laid out nicely. Just checking, because I've got, uh, this feels like this is the sort of game that might just throw something nasty in at you there, you know. Uh, let's make you look a little prettier with some, can we stick a, oh, palm trees are for outside. Oh, look at these, oh, I didn't spot these before. I thought it was going to be like a little one for tanks. Oh my words, get that palm tree. Get that palm tree right there. Oh my word. That's fantastic. Nets. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Looks like a real... Oh my god, this game just continues to impress me. It really does. Oh, we're going we're gonna to go for... Right, okay, decided. We're going to go themed. This is going to be... This is going to be the theme one, all right? This is going to be the theme level. Why is there why is there some green stuff on the floor there? That seems like a bug. All right, probably is. I would love nothing more than be able to to be able to free place those. But I imagine it's probably a uh, difficult thing to do. Right, let's um Can we get an anchor in there? Yes, we can. There you go. That is a cool looking tank. That has, that's got to push the prestige up on that a little bit. All right. Let's make, start making the place look nice. I know we're spending all of my cash, by the way, but I'm all right with it. Tropical beach. I mean, it's got to be a beach floor, hasn't it, here? Got to be. Um, should we take... Let's take the beach floor. I mean, let's just go to here. This is our beach zone. All right. I feel like a lot of the uh, space is wasted here, but we'll go with it, and we'll see how we get on, alright? Oh, what's this? Hunger guests. Alright. We've got food available now, that's good. That's definitely new. Right, what does the beach tank look like? Yeah, beach tank looks good. But I'm not a massive fan of the beach wall, if I'm honest, so I'm actually going to come in and do shipwreck wall, I think. Yeah, that's a bit more, uh, bit more up my uh, up my street. That one. 
There we go. And we'll better put it around the outside as well, haven't we? There we go. Right here. It's not doesn't cost if that doesn't cost anything the paint, so that's interesting. Okay, I think. Let's have a Oh, if only that was one wider. I mean it can be, can't it? Yeah, let's make it one wider and now let's go to uh that's those page beach paints. Right, okay. Let's do that. And then shipwreck paint. There we go, down the middle. All right. There we go. And then that's going to be our path through to the other side, right? Let's move the benches around a little bit. Somebody mentioned that uh, themed benches are a big idea. I think themed benches would be a fantastic idea, in fact. Um, they can do it two ways. You could just have a pile of different benches in here. They could just be like bench, 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 bench. That's fine. Or, you know, they let them work with the paint. Click paint and the bench turns into a wooden thing, you know? Chocolate vending machine, my word. We're not going to be uh, parents' favourite, are we? Here with chocolate vending machines. Let's get a couple of vending machines in. We'll get a drinks one as well. And over here. That should cover those areas pretty well. Uh, here's pretty good already. This is like a rocky one. That, that looks okay to me. All right. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's put um, an anchor here for no real reason other than we can. It doesn't quite look right, but I'm going to go with it. And I also need to get another palm tree, and it's hurting me. It's hurting me how few of these we have in here. Oh, yes. Loving it. Look at that. What a cool start. Uh, all right, the uh, fish is incoming. That's fine. Oh, we're a bit short on filtering here. But none of those need repairing, interestingly. Huh. All of you seem okay. Which is weird. Uh, I'll tell you what, then. We can fix it relatively simply. We can do this. And we can do this. And we can put a staff door. Actually, we'll get rid of that one as well. And put a staff door in. There we go. And then we can put a. Is it filter they need? No. Oh, yeah, it was. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now that's good. Is there something wrong with my mouse? Or is it the game? No, no, there we go. The the uh, rotation's a little funky. So here's a cool coral one. We need to get that picked up. Let's, uh, how many members of staff have we got? We've only got Wade and Tobias. Gift shop? <gasps> That's new. Um, Alright, so we're halfway towards getting our first fish, which we need. And then we need to build a nice deep tank to have six of them in. With a decent quality. Well, I suppose we can get the space ready for our next tank, can't we? Let's have it on this back wall here, because I feel like this area needs opening up anyway. There we go. So, we need a volume of 50, which I'm hoping we can do with one of these. Let's do a deep wall tank. Um, let's do... Let's do a deep observer tank. Just a just one like that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but we need to get rid of a row of you. Yeah, yeah there we go. And then move you across. Just so as this uh, all lines up. And then we'll I don't want to carry it on too much. Let's do one there. And open the backstage up to it for now. Just do that. Otherwise it'll bother me. Staff door there and there. Okay. There we go. That and that. 
All right, and then we'll, we'll use a pump to fill that up with stuff. Um, this is going to be for our cuckoo ras. This is, so we can get it pretty much instantly ready. Basic pump up the back there to look after you, and then we'll just stick a large heater on it. And uh, sorry, a large. Oh no, these are cold. These ones aren't they? So we're going to need a chiller on it. No, it's sixty. Mm, nice. Day six. Porcupine and puffer has grown. We had a porcupine and puffer. Good. Okay. Glad to hear it. I mean, should we spend a bit of money on making this place look good? I guess that is something we could do. I really don't like this blob here. This is probably all going to get ripped out. I, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. But that is on the way out. Um, Harborside. We didn't use that much last time, did we? So. Let's do. Let's do this as a harbour side area. There we go. There we are. All of this, because, yeah, it doesn't seem to cost anything, which is pretty, pretty amazing. So we might as well take the time to make it look lovely. There we are. But I am going to make a thing of keeping the um, floors of the internal places um, white because then just at a glance we can see what's going on then. Which, you know, we can see where the backstage areas are. So that is definitely something I want to keep going as we move forward. Um, what? We used the shipwreck paint here, didn't we? We can go right up to that thing, can't we? That's good. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we could maybe make this thing look a little bit more interesting. That looks quite a dull, dull, uh, dull looking one, doesn't it? Let's get some, uh, let's get some of the old rubble in there, eh? Uh, that one's already pretty good. That's to get the corals in. Uh, this one's got nothing in it. But that's because we haven't uh, put anything in it yet, has it? So let's do that and that. And let's have some kelp. I am honestly, like, it's silly how much I love this kelp. And some little rocks, I think. There we go. That is all ready. Can we not be littering, please? Do we need. We, we better have bins and lots. There we go. So can we be using bins? Hang on. Let's be using the bins, please, folks. Um, that'll probably do, I think, over there as well. Yeah, let's be using those, thank you. Dirty, mucky pups. Can we do that ourselves? Huh, that's interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, if we. Can we do this? <laughs> if we do that. Yeah. Right. Because then we can get a. Uh, we can drag one of our janitors over to it, can't we? Just to get, just to do the lot. That's actually pretty neat. Come here. Now I say janitors. Which staff had cleaning? I know one member of staff has it. Is it you? Cleaning. I'm gonna move you. Come here. Get a turn on that one there. My word. You're going to enjoy that, aren't you? What cleaning? So, clean then. Oh, they need a thing, don't they? There's a. Yeah, they need a. They need a broom stand, right? You. Boom. Yeah, you know it. Get all that up. Um. We're so close. Come on, we want the place to look nice for our cuckoo ras. Cuckoo ras. Get on it. Awesome job. And then we'll move that over to here. Cuckoo ras is done. Now we've got to do starfish, haven't we? Look at it. We need some starfish in our lives. Good. Are you going to hold on to that broom? 
Because if you are, I'll just move this to there. Oh, I just realised a bit of floor we missed there. Um, let's do. Let's do a thing like that. Yeah. Okay, Cuckoo Rass. We need six of you, Cuckoo Rasses, in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they need somewhere to live. You're so cool! Did you see that? You just got a bump in your base prestige for exhibiting the first cobalt fish in the history of Volberg Aquarium. Nice. Base prestige doesn't degrade over time like normal prestige, so it's very handy for ranking up. You receive it for completing special objectives like the one you just did. Anyway, on to the next challenge. Continue to expand our range of animals, both tropical and cold water, with the aim of reaching rank 6. What happens at rank 6? Oh, look! Ancient <gasps> pirate chest! <gasps> Pirate Cove paint. Oh my word. Frilled in an enemy. Oh, I love it. Okay, you need somewhere to live. Sorry, I didn't realise. That's um Oh hello. Objective requires different cold water animals. Yeah. You had me a donation. Too right. We'll go for that. Um let's get a nice rocky overhang for you. Uh, we're going to have to move plants a little, aren't we? Let's say. Uh, you're okay. You need to come down a bit. Uh, you need to come down. In fact, you need to go, I'm afraid. Uh, you need to go. And you need to go. Sorry. I hate getting rid of stuff, but... What can you... Jesus Christ! My word, they need a lot of space to live. Um, okay. I, oh, no. Do you know what? I hate to say it, but the kelp... No, the kelp can't go. Let's get rid of you. And we'll move the kelp. Right. And then, can we stick a wood in there? There we go. I mean, it looks a bit ridiculous, but, you know. What are you going to do? Okay, there's our first cold water tank. I like it a lot. We need to uh, finish off harbour side paint here. Oh, we need to put our we need to put a little wall up there, don't we? There we go. That's why we're having trouble there. There, we should be able to do that. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. Okay, I like, yeah, I like the brick background, that's cool. Especially for cold water as well, that makes me feel... Yeah, cold water ones would be the ones that were like nearby or whatever. You know, no, no, near, uh, you know, real life. I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> right, I think we need to open up a new area with our cache. So let's do that. Let's come through here. And what we're going to do is eventually come back round to here, right? So it's kind of like a proper, proper aquarium, isn't it? Proper proper aquarium. So we'll do. So we'll do. Fun idea. Let's do a bit of a, a corridor. All right. So um you've just got fish on one side. Let's do uh we haven't done shipwreck paint in full yet. So we'll do shipwreck paint in full here. Okay. So here's going to be the corridor. We're going to pause. We're going to throw a wall up. Because I, I don't want people just like wandering around here. Come here, please. Thank you. Yes. Thank you all. Very good. Uh, toilets. We can do toilets. I just noticed all them wanted toilets. Um, let's do a little block like that. And we should have toilets available. We do. There we go. Get yourself in there. Um, we do need a. See what we do need, just a tiny little staff room. So let's, uh, like a staff area. Let's open this up and stick that there. And in here, it's going to hold everything that doesn't, isn't to do with fish. So a broom, a sponge, and a tool. There's, there we go, wicked. And then they can get the sponge, they can come around here and clean the toilets. Nice! Uh, all right. Tank wise, then let's get some just just wall tanks. I think. I mean, not even maybe not even deep ones, just like a little selection of little tanks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't never like to be able to see the top of the water. That's my problem with it. I don't like to be able to see the top of the water. 
let's um no let's do these oh god that like worked a little bit too well didn't it staff door wally wally wall wally wall wally wall okay cool right let's uh let's paint these up we're gonna go shipwreck paint here just because I like it okay so we've got harbour side we use shipwreck down here but with a combo with the beach I think it looks pretty good pretty different but, all right good stuff right what have we not we've got no orchid dotty backs now these do require heat so I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit okay um, We're just gonna have a whole load of them, all right? And I'm gonna risk. This is this is the sort of thing you get sometimes. You get these corridors with, you know what? Just a few crappy fish in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just the way you're like, oh yeah, look, fish, and just kind of wander past. Oh, fish, yeah, look. But we did say we were gonna keep this one relatively themed, so let's get at least a conch in there, and maybe even a, a shell as well, because we're going crazy. Uh, what's up with you? Water temperature. Yeah, that's fine. So, 55 on the filter, 20 on the temperature. So, you should be more than enough. Yeah, good. And you require orange pellets. Okay, good. Next fish. Blue line dieback. Uh, yellow tang. Yellow tang is going in here. I'm going to get three of you in there, yellow tangs. But you know what? I know you're going to make the most of it. Bit of plantage. And some barrels. Yellow tangs. You love the barrels. What's up with you? Temperature too low, that's fine. I always check that one before I talk the temperature rate because sometimes it's, uh, you know, oh, we can't, we don't like each other, you know. So that's good. Oh, sure, you know I might do actually. Seems we're not going to have anything else next to them. We can actually put the food right next to where they need it. And last but not least, uh, schooling banner fish, that's not going to be big enough yet. Um, porcupine puffer, humpback snapper, what do you need? You need a big one as well. That's no good either. We've got cookie rasses. Um, Arabian blue line dotty back. Yeah, well, let's do some more. Your bullies. Orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think with this, with that one, you'll just need a. You'll just need a filter and that, won't you? Let's have a look. Yeah, good. But you know what? We're going to go mega theme, mega theming on this one. We're going to get you're going to have your own anchor. Aren't you lucky, little fishies? All right, and then you need orange. Well, there's orange there, so that should be fine. Right. Um, not going to completely wrap that round yet. All right, but we will open this up so that it's usable, and we'll pop a couple of um, benches down there. And we'll also have, because we haven't for a little while, we'll have a couple of vending machines, chocolate machines, and with that comes the requirement for trash. Okay. So there, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Hopefully people come wandering down here to see the new stuff. They do. That's good. They walk around with the drinks. You've got to make sure the bins next to the drinks necessarily aren't the most useful. But when they get to here, if they bought a drink here, when they get to there, they throw it in the bin, which is good. Just realise one little spot of, uh, well, a few little spots of paint, actually. There we go. We weren't done. Hungry, going to come and get a chocolate bar. Watch her do it, watch her do it. There she is, $17 for chocolate bar. That's well worth every single penny. 
Okay. So I'm wondering if we could do a cold Belfast tank. That could be good. Because um, we couldn't use one last uh, last playthrough because... I just wonder if we can paint... No, we can't. I was going to say, can we paint the, uh, paint the toilets? But we can't. Never mind. Um, we couldn't use the last episode because we wanted to light it up for the coral and it wouldn't let us light it up. But we could make it chilled and have it as a big, uh, big cool one. I'm going to hire staff because we need somebody who's good at feeding because they're uh, struggling a little to get around the food. Looks things. You're, you're good at feeding as well. There you go. So what have we got to get to here? We've got to get to 630 on our prestige, which we're not a million miles off actually. And then one of three gives us a little bit of cash. All right. Yeah, we're doing okay. I st I'm not still not happy about this bit here. Um, or this bit, really. But it's not awful, I guess. Stuff's getting repaired and things. That's okay. Really, once this starfish gets open, that'll give us two cold water animals. Staff leveling. One of your staff is about to level up. Uh, this will allow you to choose to increase one of their skills or to learn a new one. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Simply click the skill you wish the staff to learn or increase. Higher skill levels increase the speed at which staff complete those tasks. Some animals' equipment require skilled staff and are disproportionately time-consuming for unskilled ones to complete. Okay, Wade has leveled up. Choose a level to learn or make him better at making well feeding, I think. There you go. Good for you, Wade. Oh, and Tobias as well. Well, if we made you better at feeding, we'll make you better at fixing. How's that? All right. And then we can look at staff, can we? So, Tobias, we make feeding more of a priority for you. And fi oh, no, that wasn't right, was it? Sorry. Uh, fixing more of a priority for you. There we go. We'll see if that actually affects anything once we're in the game. Not too sure it will or not. Okay, we're just waiting a little while for this starfish. We've got Belfast tank. Perfect timing. It's done. Um, so I'm thinking... Uh, I don't know, really. Padded bench? What does that do? Padded bench an important seat for your guests. Improved seat, sorry. Letting them regain their energy quicker. Um, power pump might be useful. I'm going to take the power pump. Because we've got one of those already, and we can see that it is actually a very useful little thing. Uh, Starfish is unlocked, so let's get another cold water one then. So it's going to be the Atlantic Pollock. What did you just call me? Um, okay, let's see if we can new day. So they need everything needs feeding again. We've got the Belfast tank. We're going to make a big old Belfast tank here. All right, so let's let's start planning this out. I'm going to do this. And we're going to block it off. All right. And we're going to come back in here. And we're going to come. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's the corridor. Right. Which is going to be like so. But we're going to also, we're going to make this area. Oh, hello. Dante, Dante has leveled up. Well, I mean, no, do you know what? You're a clean... Oh, you cleaner fix. Well done, Dante. Um, we're going to open up this. Uh, five that size, six that size. So let's do six. And six. Now it looks silly. Let's do seven and seven. Yeah, that looks okay. And we've got four out. So let's do the same on this side. Four out. And that is going to be the old Belfast tank, all right? So let's put you in. Uh, oh, no, we haven't quite done that right, have we? Because it has got that back wall. Uh, all right, let's come back to that. Hold on. We've got a lot of message here. Oh, it's stuff's growing. Great. Uh, oh, 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 wait your horses. This is, a un this is not a, uh authorised area. Please make your way back. Tut tut tut. Uh, right, let's um, let's do this. All right, let's make a Belfast tank big as it'll go. Shift it into the gap there. Right. Yeah, that's going to be a premium, 
premium looking bit of kit. Let's uh, open you up a little bit to give us some options regarding heating and whatever or cooling even in this case and then we'll do uh, a couple of staff doors on either side there we go i want to kind of keep this really open you know so you can come and have a good look all the way around it in fact let's do that and that uh, and we can have some benches bench 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 uh, move bench okay benches to come and see what's going on although you wouldn't really want to sit there in fact you definitely don't want to sit there let's put bench there instead all right and bin and bin that makes more sense there we go okay um right let's i'm going to leave this here because I, I think it may be a secondary tank there or something you know for now at least we'll leave it there we need a platform couldn't quite figure these out last time so I think we have to do that all right and that in turn gets that thing fed okay I think we're gonna have to open up this area a little bit let's just do that and we'll stick a pump because we're not gonna be able to reach from there so we'll stick a basic pump there lovely okay so let's get a couple of our new starfish in oh oh that's interesting I assumed we'd be able to place that you know but that no, looks random uh, okay temperatures too high we understand this let us get a uh, basic chiller in um, still too high still too high okay there's absolutely no filtration happening on that thing there so what we're probably gonna have to do is get rid of you I'm guessing they don't need filtration I assume that's the point um, Starfish avoid placing with tank mates, which are dangerous to starfish. Well, yeah. Filter power helps maintain basic water. Yeah, so you don't actually need filtration, which is cool, because at the moment you yeah, it's an awfully big tank just for <laughs> just for a, uh, a few starfish. But there is going to be more stuff going in there. So what we're going to do is put a large filter there. All right, 126. That should be okay for a little while. So there's other things we can do as well if we need to make more space there. I want to. I want to. Um, I want to paint it up somewhat lovely. Harbour, shipwreck, tropical beach, maybe tropical. No, that doesn't quite look right. I think shipwreck's going to be the way to go here. Yeah, shipwreck there. But maybe harbour on the walls. Um, let's have a look. Harbour side on the walls. Yeah, and we'll put these on the walls. Oops. Nope. Oh, don't really need to do those, do we? I can't. I do. I. Do, I am all about the. Uh, about the idea of keeping the uh, the backstage, back staged. Okay. Otherwise, that's uh, pretty good. I'll paint it there. Uh, we're going to have it all on the floor here. And we're going to have it... Um, let me think about this. We're going to We're gonna go two... Well, no, we're going to go one wide down the middle. Let's just change the tank, but that's okay. Oh, it's really annoying that we can't change that one little... Ah! Oh no! Do we have to do it before the tank goes in? Let's um, let's clear all this up, and then we'll see whether we can do it with the tank. What I'm thinking is a row of wood down the middle. You see, I think that'll look the mutts. That will look the dogs danglies. This episode's going to get quite long. 
So I apologise in advance for the longness of my episode. I didn't realise it was showing. Okay, let's just move. Can we just move you? Oh no, I don't want to rotate you. I just want to put you there for a second, alright? I just want to see. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Now we're going to move you that way. This is, I know I know this is a ridiculous amount of work for what I'm doing. But we're going to... No, no, don't die. Oh, God, I thought they were dying then. Um, let's... We have to reconnect you, don't we? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so do they smooth around? Yes, they do move around. Okay, good. Because they do in real life, I guess. But it's it's so slow, you don't really notice. But yeah, they, they do. They crawl. They, they, they exist. Um, they don't eat anything, which is good, I guess. And then once this is done, our Atlantic Pollock will drop some of them over here as well. That'll give us our cold water trio. What was what do we need for this? Oh, six thirty. Yeah. So, I well, really need to open this up, don't we? But I don't want to just do that just yet. Let's um, let's not neaten up this area. Make it a little bit more guest focused with some vending machines. Let's actually put them in the right space. There we go. Uh, power pump's done. Let's go for the large protein shaker. I think that's going to be more useful than other things. There we go. Chocolate. There. And then... Uh, I guess that's it, actually. I say, I want a little, maybe like a lagoon tank here or something. That would look quite cool. Just, just opposite the big tank. Uh, there we go. Uh, Atlantic Pollock needs research. So let's get the fuzzy dwarf lionfish on the go. You just like Atlantic Pollock. Atlantic Pollock needs to be fed every other day. Useful as it reduces the feeding demands of your staff. You can find the frequency each animal needs uh, by hovering over its food. Uh, eat sand eel every day. Wow, okay. So, ah, uh, may eat or damage fish with size three or less. Hmm. I, this thing's going to go around and eat all the starfish, isn't it? Uh, oh. Do we move these from here? Crustaceans besides two or left. Right, okay. Here we go. Uh... Okay. Move. Can we do this? Right, so here we go. Oh, sorry, that was, I went all silent there because I was concentrating very, very difficultly. Pick you up. Put you in there. Okay. Oh, we need to. Oh, yeah. You you like your little houses, don't you? Um. Okay. We can move stuff. We can move stuff. Right. Uh. At least one staff cannot access cockles. There is. There are cockles. Let's get some cockles in. Cockles, boom, and still not enough housing. No, 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 not enough housing. Let's do uh, da, 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 da. a cave. Just down the front here, make it look like it's just a bit of rock, a bit of wood. Why look? Yeah, you know, you're good at feeding. Come here. Right, there we go. Some are grow up. Nice. So they're all grown now, so that's good. They're going to come over here. So in that case, this one over here that's relatively empty now can take our um, our other Atlantic parlor. There we go. Glorious specimens. Oh, okay. These new cold water specimens are simply fascinating, and they are sure to make the tourism board over in Linholm jealous. Talking of the Linholm tourist board, they sent this to our office as a sort of practical joke. We're not sure what to do with it. Can you look after it? Yes, I'll take it. 
Do you go in there? Where is it? Oh yeah, look, Talbot. Let's find out a bit more information about you first before I start um, throwing you around willy-nilly. You grow. You can't be with anything three or less and you're greedy and you eat mussels. But other than that, you're pretty good. All right, I want to have another cup. I want to have another of the uh, Atlantic Pollock in here. Nice. So is that a Pollock now available as a fish? No, it's just a one-off. Okay, food-wise then, lastly, we need some sand eel. For these weirdos. And, uh, what's the other one? Oyst cockles? No, not cockles. The mussels. There we go. Yeah, you can. There they are. Nice. Nice little Talbot there, look. Boom. Um, that could do it for us. Let's let's quickly open the. I'm sorry for running over on this episode, but we'll finish now. Um, let's just open this up. See how we get on. See whether people actually head, head over here. They should do. And whether or not it gives us 6:30, I don't know. We got up to like 500 and something. So if we can get enough people coming over to see this big area here, it may be enough. So we went, we tip, tipped to 500 there. All right. Tip to 500. But now it's coming back down again. I think we need to get people over to here. If we get people over to here, I feel like we would hit more. Is she want to sell? No, 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 no. My word. Um, I want some kelp. I just realized there's no kelp in there. How awful of me. Good. What was that male? Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five, six starfish have grown. Good for them. We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. In the next episode, we will carry on with this uh, level, I think. And what we want to do is, um, if there's loads left to do, let's get the bench. If there's loads left to do. What we might do is, is rather than just have this little corridor here, this corridor can come up and we can have a, an added extra here. Look. Oh, look. You're, you're available. I was looking for the tubular sponge. Um... And do it that way instead. But we'll have to see how we get on in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy the chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we literally did it just as I was signing off. Let's just click rank up. Ta -da! Uh, we've got some cool stuff to put in and we've got some more fishies. Uh, and um, gift shop. Right, okay. Next episode is going to be gift shops. There you go. A little secret for you. Woohoo!